afternoon once again and welcome to Carlow Park for the second test. It's beautifully fine here and while the ground is fairly firm underfoot there may be a few patches where it's just that little bit soft right on the surface. You'd be pretty pessimistic I think if you didn't predict another Kiwi win but there is no doubt whatever that this is going to be a very improved French side needing a win before they go on their tour of Australia. There are four changes in this French side from the first test lineup. Andre Perez replaces Pion at fullback. Philippe Fourquet replaces Nordeau in the centres. Jean Louis Bezard will play halfback. Guy Lafour comes into the second row for Manuel Caravacar, who will move back to loose forward, replacing the captain, Joel Rosbrook, who was rather cruelly and unnecessarily need in the groin during the match against Northern Districts. Henri Daniel will captain today's side from prop. The Kiwi selection today is probably the most popular side since 1971. Dennis Williams is injured, so the centre's combination is Olsen Filipina playing his 11th test and James Lulawai. The only other change from the successful first test lineup is in the front row, where Ray Baxendale, playing his 16th test, comes in for the injured Kevin Tamady. A strong, fit and very mobile side committed, according to coach Cess Mountford, to playing fast, entertaining football because that's what the people pay to come and see. Referee for today's match, the colourful and flamboyant Greg Hartley from Sydney. Kicking off for France was Andre Perez, replacement fullback. So five seconds into the game and the New Zealand penalty. Fred Arcoy. It's out. 15 metres. A little bit of confusion there between Dan O'Hara and Alan Rushton. Rushton to play it. Broadhurst. Ray Baxendale into the test, replacing the injured Kevin Tamati. Playing at 10. Mark Graham. Graham West having a run. Going to take a little while to settle down. Shane Varley, man of the match in the first test. Tidied up by Fred Arcoy, can't hold it. Graham West there. Very fit, very confident, very sharp New Zealand side in training. Talking to them before the match, they were quite confident of a win. penalty a differential penalty they can't have a shot at goal even if it was close enough Fred Arcoy to put it out good kick 25 meters Ray Baxendale Baxendale's going to do exactly what the man he replaced has done in several tests run up the middle O'Hara. Tony Cole. And this is a French side very obviously intent on keeping the defence as tight as they can. Graham West. All New Zealand so far. Ten metres out, New Zealand. Olsen Filipana to carry Brown the try. Olsen Filipana got the, the pass away. No try allowed. The pass went forward, or was knocked forward. And Gary Prome in a similar time in the game, in a similar place, scored a try in the first test. That one disallowed the pass being knocked forward. New Zealand very much on attack. Akoi, Olsen back to Akoi. Nice moving. Fred Akoi through. And he got there. Well, Fred 
Akoye must have been sweating over that one, right by the post. Nicely through it, a nice little double round. Olsen back to Fred Akoye. Didn't look like he was going to get there at all. Stepped out of a tackle, managed to get through and right by the post, just getting it across the line. Nice try, Fred Akoye. Olsen Filipina, the first kick of the day. A dead simple one right in front, and it's there and safe. 5 0. New Zealand leading France. Three minutes gone. It was a lovely little move, doubling round Olsen Filipina and Fred Arcoy. Fred Arcoy was content to move it on, but saw that he could step out of a tackle and put it down right by the posts. Tidy scrums. Bring Hartley content to get them over with fairly quickly, but that one incorrectly fed. Shane Varley. It's the third penalty on Alan Rushton for striking. Andre Perez. So 15 metres out now, France. Once again, they have a chance to see what they can do constructively with six tackles. Jean-Louis Bézard playing halfback for France today. Very light player, about the same physical dimensions as Shane Varley. James Lolloway picks up Andre Perez as if he's two stone three. Makali. Kiwi's defence proving tight too. There's out. There's the bomb. Came loose from the bomb, but they weren't really under it. Gila Borg almost there, but couldn't get there. Iratier, the winger, Bezar, Makali. Running inside is Porque. Six foot one and 13 stone two, but couldn't get through that gap. Let's see a vague, you know, Olsen Filipina coming past him very quickly. Bezar. Garavaka. Garavaka and... Uh, Guy Laporte combining very well. Been a testing few minutes for the Kiwis defence and it's held up pretty well. Fred Akoy. That relieves the pressure a little bit. He's made 20 metres. style of Mark Broadhurst and he still gets the tackle away Gary Prome getting the pass away in the tackle should I say Baxendale and getting the pass away Fred Akoy can't make ground taking it on a, taking it on his own and another five or six meters New Zealand leading France, 5-0. Red Akoy the try, converted by Elson Filipina. Red Akoy not making any ground with the kick, but... Broadhurst. Bali. Ray Baxendale. Running off Barley, Tony Cole, Shane Barley, moving it on quickly, Fred Akoy, two out to Olsen, back into Gary Pro. in there and supporting was Graham West, but 
few knocks in the tackles and France in possession again. Bezar. Referee Greg Hartley making a little display of the detective work to see who actually had that ball in the tackle. He ruled that it was New Zealand possession. A niggle going on in there. Alan Rushton's quite unperturbed by it. And Olsen Filipina is going to have a shot. Go, Alan Rushton, veteran of 12 tests, playing his 13th today. This is what happened. Broadhurst went to play the ball. He gave it back to Alan Rushton, and sitting on the ground there was Bazar between the two and knocked the ball down. Quite illegal, so Olsen Filipina with the shot. Let's see if he can make it 7 0 New Zealand. Still 5-0 New Zealand leading, and the Sydney Dustman couldn't put another two points on the board. Better running. Makalee. it can be Danielle Renard Coy the tackle see how tight the New Zealand defence is can they get through Delaunay Bezar Garavaka Kiwi side. The French and Fourquet particularly looking so dangerous on attack. Found a gap and was through and gone. Tackle by Perez. Yep, Hugh Rattier, French winger. Bali moving it on. Mark Graham. Tackle was a little high from Guy Delaunay. Very difficult to say if it was deliberate or otherwise. It looked like. Guy Delaunay stuck the arm out at the last moment. But it was certainly too high. We'll have a look at it again. Shane Varley moving the ball beautifully. Mark Broadhurst moves it on to Graham. Now Mark Graham running through here. Uh, the tackle was high. Graham looking a little irritated. Most of their moves, their set moves, which look so sharp in practice, they haven't been allowed to involved in the game so far. The French tactics have been very much spoiling tactics. Another scrum penalty on Alan Rushton. Greg Hartley telling him in no uncertain terms that his play is illegal. Alan Rushton looks a little bewildered as to what it is he's doing wrong. The referee often criticised for being flamboyant and colourful, but he's a very sharp referee. Daniel. Ten metres out from the 
Kiwi's line. Jose Gine. Beza. Giro decides to involve Calavaca. Calavaca moving at the other side. Porque. Porque and Sebastian Rodriguez. What a combination. Both fast and both dangerous on attack. James Lulaway can't make headway. It's a bruising game. Broadhurst gets the pass away. Fred Arcoy. Bali. Olsen. Olsen Filipina. Running beautifully. Gets the pass to Gary Prome. Gary Prome tried to get it away. The ball went. trouble picking it up and hesitated. Stop the move. A little difference of opinion there between Olsen Filipino and Guy Delaunay, which is possibly the same sort of thing as happened in reverse earlier on in the game. But Olsen Filipino can tackle incredibly hard. Andre Perez will have a shot. Let's have a look at it again. The tackles were coming thick and fast. Olsen Filipino wrapped up the ball. And things were getting just a little bit rough. Specialist kicker. Andre Perez, a specialist kicker. A little fellow with five foot eight and ten stone eights. Try to put some points on the board for France. 30 minutes gone, first half. It's short. Flagged away. Shane Barley's picked it up. Back on attack, Olsen Filipina. Once again, the tackle coming head high. That time from Ali Daniel. Olsen Filipina didn't like it at all. Tony Cole taking some putting on the ground. Gets the pass up, picked up nicely by James Lillaway. And running the huge man back inside to Dan O'Hara. Graham West it was, up there with support, got the pass inside to Dan O'Hara. And a beautiful try, finishing off nicely, Dan O'Hara. This is where it came from. Alan Rushton fed it, Broadhurst slipped through a little gap, but most importantly managed to get the pass up, picked up beautifully by James Lulaway. In support was Graham West. West ran a few paces for a big man, he was very fast, and back inside to the speedster, Dane O'Hara. And there's no way they were going to catch Dane O'Hara.
look again. Alan Rushton to Broadhurst. And it was he really who made the break. Getting the pass up, James Littleway picked it up well from a difficult situation. And that's Graham West, six foot five, passing it into Dane O'Hara. And Dane O'Hara really only had the finishing task with the speed he's got. The kick is there. Olsen Filipina makes it 10 0 New Zealand. 32 minutes gone. Have another look at this move. Mark Broadhurst must take a lot of the credit for that, as must James Lulaway. Look at how he picked up that pass. And in good support, Graham West, six foot five and running strong. And then Dane O'Hara really only had the sprint to finish it. Sprinting is his forte. Twenty-five metres out from the Kiwi line, making ground. Mark Graham, and again, rather foolish tactics. In fact, it was Ray Baxander running into the tackle. Christian Makali, the French hooker, with an arm too high. The French are trying very hard to unsettle the Kiwis. This Kiwi side is a very experienced side and one that's played together a lot with good combinations. They're not about to be upset by tactics like that. Mark Broadhurst preparing himself for the tackle, putting his head down, running into it. Safety. Ray Baxter. Once again, it's Christian Makali across the top. away and loses perhaps a little adventurous for Fred Arcoy but it was worth the try trying to pass in front of the tackler Henri Daniel when it has come out to the back line and Fourque and Rodriguez have had the ball they are just amazing the amount they can do with a ball and two inches to move so fast both of them untidy scrum Greg Hartley's let it go. It didn't look like it was hooked. Three minutes remaining in the first half. Guy Laporte. not really making any ground at all against the Kiwi defence. It has been tight, it's been good today, until it gets to the three-quarter line for the French. No baggy though. Broadhurst takes him down. Daniel. Arabakar. Porque. at the right time as he so often is Olsen Filipina looking to get that pass away turning in the tackle Broadhurst again looking to get the pass away but fearing for his head if he tried pick it up but the ball knocked forward 
Shane Barley to feed. Sebastian Rodriguez, again, the frustration showing. He kicked it through. It would have been away like a shot. Nice scrum ball. Fred Akoy. Comes inside. A little softening up. Olsen Filipina. The ball actually knocked forward, but a little bit of the uh, Sydney experience showing from Olsen Filipina. First of all, the fend, then he looked to turn to the tackle and get the ball away. And when he did lose it, he recovered it so quickly. Scrum infringement, the penalty going France's way. Alan Rushton again looking frustrated. Manuel Caravaca, Broadhurst, Alan Rushton the tackler. It's Max Chantal. getting it across the other side. Aldi Daniel. Really not making any ground as they do it. A lot of effort, a little reward. Little double round, Guido. Guido, Rattier being set up, comes back inside. Who's there? Can't get quite close enough. Jose Gine. Three or four metres away. The pass was forward. French look so brilliant in small patches. Very clever centres of the French side. Back there tidying up again, Mark Graham. Brings it forward back into play. Gary Prome. Really has been a pretty rugged match so far. Broadhurst. Filipino restarts for New Zealand. Scrum's pretty even in the first half. Penalty's about the same. French tactics in the entire first half have been spoiling tactics, not allowing the New Zealanders to work in any of their set moves. Play. Play backs them down. Possession again. 20 metres out. In the French line. Bali. Wider. Fred Akoy. Alison Villapana. Running out of the ball. As you can see, a difficult man to bring down. 15 metres out. Bali. Nice to go back inside. The bomb from Fred Arcoy. It hasn't gone far enough. Okay. Was the man who picked it up. Max Chantal. Pretty predictable tactics from France. Each time they've managed to change the possession. And really not making very much ground at all. Buckley gets it back. Ali Daniel. Don't seem to be looking for the passes as much as the Kiwis. 
Tres. Gary Prome tidying up, running into the tackle and losing the ball forward. A good crowd here, sensing that during the game there has been a little aggro. Really just a little bit of a lull in the game at the moment. New Zealand, we haven't really seen any of their very sharp set moves come off yet. Fred Akoy feeding Mike O'Donnell into the back line. Picked up on the run, back inside, James Lillaway, he's round the defence, James Lillaway couldn't get the pass back inside, running up the side was Gary Prone, Shane Barley was there in support, 15 metres out, Olsen Filipina, Gary Prone, slightly untidy pass from Olsen Filipina, under a bit of pressure, Gary Prone couldn't pick it up. Olsen Filipina really has made an incredible contribution to this back line today. He's playing a much more mobile running game than we're accustomed to seeing him play at Carlaw Park. Shane Barley ground very quickly. Out of a car. Broadhurst wraps him up. Ray Baxendale, Graham West and Mark Broadhurst making an incredible tackling team. Kick up, is he going to find the line? Dan O'Hara's there. Well marked by three of the opposition but had to go anyway. A little way. Mike O'Donnell up there in the line. Broadhurst. Graham West. Graham West again showing good pace. Came from the way through the gap. The way the most stopping under the post. Pace running. And again, a beautiful break made by Graham West. Six foot five and 15 stone 10 that has showed us on three or four occasions today can be. Nicely finished by the pace of James Lulawai. Broad has put it out. There's Graham West. Ran through a tackle and set up the pass beautifully for James Lulawai who just ran away from the opposition. Lulawai so fast off the mark. Nicely finished under the posts. and Filipina straight in front and it's there good points for New Zealand nine minutes gone second half 50 nil the Kiwis leading France let's have a look from another angle Broadhurst put the pass out Graham West up and mobile and fast put James Lulawai into a gap where all he had to do was outrun the opposition and finish it Broadhurst, Ray Baxendale, it's been coming for a long time, uh, Greg Hartley signalling to Mark Broadhurst that he doesn't want any punches thrown, it was only a single one, but as I say, it had been coming for a little while. Have a look at it again. Pretty rugged tackling tactics and some pretty hard tactics from a lot of those players. You see Mark Broadhurst, number eight, running in there. He hopped in and dished out a quick one. Broadhurst 
up on those tackles very fast. Jackie Embert. Good running, Jackie Embert. Who's going to catch him? Hilo was up there in support. Scrums at the moment favouring France, but only by 9 to 8. Penalties favouring New Zealand 10 to 9, so it's pretty even in terms of the referee. Racing away. And again, untidy play from France when they got the chance to get through, being towed on there by Guy Laporte. But he was out. The initial break came from Andre Perez, who was lying injured in the middle of the paddock at the moment. Fairly heavily tackled. The subsequent passes went through fairly untidily. And Guy Laporte was there to tow it on, but he stepped out. France position once again, 40 metres out. to France, Henri Daniel says we'll have a shot Andre Perez, the French pullback makes it New Zealand 15, France 2 27 minutes gone in the second half 22 metres out on the French line Graham West Broadhurst Graham West getting the pass to Mark Broadhurst in the tackle critics. Howie Tamadi is number 15 for the Kiwis. A late replacement. More running. Hervé Guido. There was plenty of Kiwi defence there that time. Mark Graham to wrap him up. Mark Lee, they're going back. Porque. They lost ground. Rodriguez. Danielle. Throwing the passes to nowhere. Guido. Gonzalez. Back inside to Retier. saw was Gary Prone putting in a little needle after the tackle was made which again was unnecessary Gary Prone a warning <laughs> so 
Chantal. Now we have a second replacement in the Kiwis at this late stage. Shane Barley's gone off. Wally Wilson is on. Wally Wilson will be number 14. Howie Tamati's the other replacement at 15. That's Wally Wilson. He's normally a specialist halfback, but he can play stand-off as well. The first time he has played for the Kiwis, Wally Wilson. He's waited a long time in the wings, though. Anxious to get into the game, he has replaced Shane Varley at halfback. The man of the match has gone to the Kiwis centre, Olsen Philippina. Play started to get a little untidy again. In fact, that man of the match overall has gone to Mark Broadhurst, number eight for the Kiwis, the prop. And pick of the day from one side was Filipina. We haven't heard the French one yet. Mark Broadhurst, man of the match. in the form of Howie Tamady and Howie Tamady dotted it down. 23 points to two. Olsen Filipina again with the conversion attempt to make it 25 to two. It's right in front. It's a simple kick. A minute remaining in the game or less. Kick is there. 25 points to two. Less than a minute remaining. Let's have a look at the try again. Howie Tamati put the pass up. Fred Arcoy with the beautiful, well-placed little chip up. The bounce came up dead right for Olsen Filipina, but have a look at the skill involved as he takes the tackle and flips up that pass so beautifully to James Lulawai. James Lulawai runs out wide and draws the opposition, puts it back inside to Fred Arcoy. Fred Arcoy drew the fullback, Andre Perez, and just slipped it back inside for Howie Tamati to do the finishing off. Tamati started the movement and was there at the finish. Graham West. It's all over. The end of the game and New Zealand defeating France convincingly, 25 to two. The first test was 26-3, and this one probably far more in New Zealand's favor than the first one was. Tries to Arcoy after three minutes, O'Hara after 32, James Lulaway after 48, Mark Graham after 75 minutes, and the last one to Howie Tamati. Good kicking from Olsen Filipina today, four conversions, and for France, Andre Perez with one kick. So New Zealand beating France by 25 points to do, and one can only speculate now as to what the Sydney press will have to say about this French team, unable to compete at all with the Kiwis in excellent form, fast and mobile, and convincingly defeating France in two tests.